Welcome back. The time is 512. After seven days, the temporary ceasefire is now over between Israel and Hamas. This morning, Israel's military resumed combat operations and accused the terror group of firing rockets towards Israel. Another wave of eight hostages and 30 Palestinian prisoners were released yesterday. Chanel Call has the latest. Rockets in the night sky over northern Gaza gave way to billowing smoke this morning as Israel resumed its strikes against Hamas. Secretary of State Antony Blinken taking off from Tel Aviv after pushing to extend the pause. During a visit, Blinken met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and other leaders, also traveling to the West Bank to meet Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas. We will not stop working until we get every hostage back home with their families and loved ones. Yesterday, eight more hostages were released after the ceasefire was extended for a seventh day. Among them, a 21-year-old French-Israeli woman, Mia Shim, who had this emotional reunion with her family after more than 50 days in captivity. Another group of 30 Palestinian prisoners was released into the West Bank yesterday, though earlier clashes broke out between the crowd waiting for their arrival and Israeli defense forces. In Jerusalem, members of the Orthodox Jewish community joined the funeral procession for a 73-year-old rabbi who was one of at least three people killed when two Palestinian gunmen opened fire at a bus stop yesterday. I loved him very much. He was my best friend. According to police, off-duty soldiers and an armed civilian shot and killed the two suspected shooters. Hamas has claimed responsibility for the incident, saying it was in response to what it calls the crimes of Israel. The U.S. condemned the bus stop attack, calling it heinous and a terrorist attack. Several people got hurt in that attack, including two Americans.